Hello, my name is Ben. I'm a follower of Jesus. We come to the ninth of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Now, you've had that simplified to lying, and lying is bad. But what it says is false witness against thy neighbor. The original governing system of the land, the land that Moses brought people out of Egypt for, that, Joseph, uh, that Joshua brought them into, had a governing system that involved, if your neighbors catch you in a crime, there would be um, a kind of community tribunal where evidence was found, and your word, having witnessed it, was a major component of them getting the punishment that came with it. Now, here was the, the catch-22 of that. If you lied and was found out that you lied, you as the false witness bearer would have to take the penalty you'd want them to take. So if you falsely accuse someone of murder when you're caught, making them false accusation, you will take the penalty for murder. That seems so fair now, doesn't it? You know, the, the free way in which we accuse one another and slander one another within our society, especially now that we have an internet enabling anonymity as we destroy each other's reputations. Imagine if that rule was in place here. How many people who accused others of crimes and sins anonymously and didn't have any consequences began experiencing those consequences. Now understand we can fulfill this law in Christ Jesus. We have fulfilled this in Christ Jesus. But this, this heart is still God's heart. God still hates false witness. Now, peculiarly enough, there are people that lie in the Bible and don't receive any consequences for it. Abraham, out of fear, tells a group of dangerous men that his wife is actually his sister. And that's a lie. And he doesn't receive, you know, judgment of God for it. Um, and part of that is because these Ten Commandments are big deals. And bearing false witness against your neighbor has a lot to do with I've used the power of my voice and my testimony to get bad things to happen. To bring about things that harm you physically, curtail your freedom, damage your reputation. That is one of the things God considers in that Ten Commandments category. If they're all of similar grievance to God, now here's the ten big ones, perhaps you might be describing. He's saying murder is in a similar category, the commandment category, as he told a lie about someone that got them in legal trouble. And in many cases, you got them put, you potentially got them put to death. That is horrifying in the eyes of God. We in this society have come to love and admire liars and slanderers. Who is most popular on the internet and social media? Are people who can talk about others in a way that make themselves look good and make others look bad. It's a form of power mongering, a form of false authority. And we love to hear in our society bad things about each other. What sells in our media? The darkest, most twisted, most titillating things about famous people. You know, Boy Scout helps grandmother across the street is not going to be front page news ever again in this country. Not that it ever was. But those kind of, here's an ordinary person doing godly things for godly reasons, is not something America's ever going to put at the forefront of news. It's going to be political dissent. It's going to be crime and murder. It's going to be the sexual sins and drug use of our society's royalty, which is celebrities. Understand that we've chosen to admire these things in this society. We call it news, we call it exciting, and this is the majority of what we hear if we plug our heads into the media, the social media, the internet, um, texting and tweeting 24-7.
This is what we're here. We're here pointless things. We're here other people's romances. We're here other people's sexual and chemical sins. We're here about death and violence and sin. Our society loves false witness. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. See what I'm saying? Our insides need to be different than the outside surroundings. We need to be culturally and philosophically different from our culture. If we absorb it and imitate and become just like the people around us, and sadly that is our tendency, we will love false witness. We will love the entertainment and excitement and goosebumps that it creates, the titillation. We will desire it. And therein is the spirit of false witness. Because I love it, I admire people who do it, and I'm tempted to do it myself because of all the social advantages, all the power that is available if I do so. I understand this is not a path for Christians. We cannot use our words to slander others. And even if our society rewards us for us for it, know that God is grieved. Know that it is sin to be entertained by slander. It is sin to fantasize lying about others in order to gain advantage and reduce their advantage or quality of life or anything. And then to do it. They're all the same thing. I challenge you to move this out of your life in Jesus' name. Amen.